Okay, so I'm back with Lilith in the third house. Lilith in the third house is um, the middle child, okay? Now, does Lilith in the third house actually have to be born as the middle child? No. But I give Lilith <clears throat> in this position the title of the middle child because if you think about it, all right, this just sayings, old time sayings to where, you know, the oldest child is the spoiled one and the one that gets this extra protection is the least to be the, the most, the, the least to be independent. You know, it's the most dependent because everybody catered to the first child. The youngest child is the, it's a lot of times could be the most independent, just depending on the situation, but the youngest child could be the most babied, you know? And aside from kind of even getting things their way, they're also taught or shown in some way a level of independence, right? So even when the youngest child is being a little bit rebellious or kind of wanting their own way or just demonstrating things that's not the norm, not the, the traditional norm or not the norm, um, people are just accepting. They're just like, okay, well, you know, it's the, it's the baby. She just does these things. The middle child gets put in a position to where well, they definitely can be considered to be the most independent or independent, but it's like, in a sense, <clears throat> they get stuck in a position to where they're having to take care of the oldest and the youngest sibling. Like, really think about this. Because the, the oldest, even though sometimes the oldest sibling could be the oldest, even when the parent leaves the oldest in charge, a lot of times it's the middle one that's kind of like, keeping things afloat. The middle one knows all the rules. The middle one is taking the brunt of everything. It's kind of like, okay, well, you should have known to help Johnny, even though he's the oldest. And then they're also being the person that's in charge or the, or I'm sorry, the one that is being responsible for the youngest one too. It's kind of like taking up the slack for the oldest one being in charge and just the brunt of everything hitting the middle child. Okay. Not really giving the lead way to just be themselves, you know? Well, this translate over into Lilith um, in the third house. Lilith in the third house could really stick out or stand out than, you know, more than their siblings. Even when they're doing simple stuff, like it could just be simple rules, simple traditional aspects, norms the way that people think Lilith in the third house does not think the same way as the people around them and especially like as their siblings and like even in their family and things of that nature they just don't they just they find it very hard to that's why when coming up they could have been known to be or seen as being rebellious and I'm talking to the point of where they're rebellious and they're curious they're considered to be rebellious just about something they're curious about. And they're seen to be so rebellious or deemed to be, you know, just off-putting sometimes by their behaviors um, or just the way that they think because they're not going to think um, like, you know, people would normally think. They're going to pretty much think outside of the box and they're very curious. Now, because of the fact that they're very curious, this could put them in situations sometimes to where um, they could be um, curious about certain things that they would actually try. You know, whether this is curious about their sexuality, expressing that. It can show up in their behavior. It can show up in things that they're actually doing. It can show up in poetry. Like they can write about abuse that they endured. And they could talk about it. Their Lilith in the third house is just not going to sit back. Lilith in the third house is, is eventually going to speak their truth. And they're going to express it in different forms and different ways. And this can really, you know, 
upset their family, their friends, people around them if people don't want the truth to get out about something. And it's it's interesting because Lilith is usually experiencing things to where um, they're holding a lot in. They're holding a lot or they have a lot of, they have access to a lot of information that can tick a lot of people off or it can be very compromising to themselves and to other people if the information was to get out. And this is, you know, what, well, what ends up happening to Lilith and the third house individuals is that they're usually made to be quiet, like either earlier on when they were younger and they're trying to, or what they're doing over time is they are getting themselves positioned or getting, getting themselves in a place to where they are speaking their truth. They are utilizing the thought processes of their mind and um, their sexuality and how they express it and even themselves in a way that actually helps other people. And, and, and listen, the sort of experiences that Lilith and the third house individuals have could be anywhere between devastating to others. It may not even seem important, you know. It may not even seem important. They could have felt like they were overlooked as children and not really validated like some of their other siblings were. It, it doesn't even matter. It can stem from very harsh experiences to what other people would deem is not that harsh at all, but it affected them on a deep level to the point of where um, it almost makes them feel like they cannot speak. And they cannot express certain things. Okay? They cannot express certain what happened to them and certain experiences that they had, especially if they want to fit in to situations that are traditionally normal or normalized. Okay? Now, they, they can suppress this up until a certain amount of time, you know, up until they decide that they want to break free from that. But we do have some Lilith in the third house, third house individuals that will not at a very young age they were kind of like speaking up um they could even have some form of speech impediment as well like when they they could stop themselves from talking or saying things and be more on the quiet side some of them if when they go to talk they can't get their words out they can't really express themselves like it's very hard for them to fit in a normal conversation their mind um, doesn't operate that way all the time. You know, they don't really um, think in a traditional sense, like a sense to where they fit in. They're very unique. They can be very creative. Their curiosity can take them to heights beyond and achievements beyond this world. But the thing about it is what it is that they have to talk about, what it is that they have to vent about, what it is that they have to express just sometimes is not really accepted. And like I said, it could, they could be, have some sort of speech impediment or they could have been someone that was very vocal. You know, let's say, let's take them, um, getting in trouble, them in, with amongst their siblings getting in trouble and, um, they're speaking up like, okay, well, this is not fair or you can't hit me, you know, or you can't ground me or whatever. I could like anything that could be considered as rebellious and them saying and them sticking up for themselves or sticking up for other people when they get to that position, you know, and that ability to be able to do that. Um, it could have got them in into situations to where they were told they were try someone or something tried to make them be quiet. But their goal as Lilith, they're the outspoken, they're, they're the outspoken person. They're supposed to be the outspoken individual. But the thing about it is Lilith in the third house has to find a way to challenge, I mean, to channel, to channel their speech, to channel their thought process, to channel their creativity, to channel their untraditional, um, should I say untraditionalism? Untraditional ways into something that's going to help other people, be the voice of other people. And it doesn't have to be... It could just be you starting from healing yourself or just you starting from something small, using your mind, being creative, you know, doing something different, setting up your own traditions and in, in breaking karmic patterns and cycles for your children, you know, that um, will ensure that change things change for your, your um, 
change, you know, um, psychologically, you know, you can be like this transformer of um, the family. Now, the Lilith in the fourth house, we're going to see more of this, but it's slightly different. I feel like Lilith in the third house can pull this off best out of all of the Lilith, Lilith placements, you know. In synastry, Lilith, you could get with a partner that is also traditional, like um, someone that doesn't necessarily want you to be so outspoken. Let's say you're with a man and he believes that you should not have a mind of your own as a woman, okay? You can catch, um, you can come into like a lot of uh, arguments or disagreements with this person or with your partner if you speak up and you're doing things outside of what they suggest that you should be doing. Now, at the same time, Lilith in the third house has to look for partners that want or not even allows that that is okay with um, Lilith's powerful voice, powerful mind. People really don't understand Lilith in the third house. Like we can go really, really far into this, um, which is I'm not going to do. I will cover the synastry more later, like I've already said in the other Lilith videos. But here, Lilith is not supposed to, Lilith is supposed to stick out. Lilith is supposed to think differently. You know, um, some, you know, Lilith in the third house can also be someone who writes about their sexuality. Like, actually, I don't know if you guys ever read those books to where they were like, um, um, uh, what do you call it? <laughs> They're like books that, that where they like have these whole storylines of people being intimate and different things like that. I can't think of what you call these type of books. But Lilith can also be a person that does those type of books and that, you know, type of content. But just someone that could write very well or speak very well. Or even if you're not writing very well, speaking very well, you are utilizing your creativity you're using your mind to find ways to um channel or put out a message people don't understand you could just you could put out a message through art through drawing something through dance okay um but don't let people stop you from using your mind you're here to use your mind you're here to use your voice you're here to deliver a significant message all right so this has been Lilith in the third house i'm butterfly to light and i will be that